All right, we're back. Uh, what I went ahead and did was the bottom portion here. I did the same V thing that I did over here uh, in the front. And um, just to tell you, um, I, the feet were a little bit too long for me, so I just trimmed them back a little bit, the shoes. And uh, I rounded them off. And I took a longer and a deeper V cut, if I can show you this here, a deeper V cut in this area right here. Okay? It's helpful to have a nice sharp knife to get in there to cut that out. And the other thing you got to remember is uh, you're going to try to keep uh, your shoes going underneath the pants here. So we just want to cut that out, make it look like it's going underneath, just like so. All right. Now I did one side with the shoe, and I'm going to show you how to do the other. All you do is draw a line. And then you put a stop cut in. Um, that's a little higher. Let me see here. This is how I measure a lot of times, folks. Yeah, it is just a tad. Let me let me bring this down just a little bit here. All right. Um, let me bring this out a little bit so you can see it. Uh, just put a stop cut to there. Okay. You're just gonna take the point of your knife and just cut trim that out like so. Well, what a difference after I used that alcohol and water on this piece. This piece was uh, definitely a harder piece, and I got it with the same lumber I did before. It just happens that way sometimes, folks. You know, if you get a hard piece in a, in a batch of lumber, don't be discouraged with it. Just use that alcohol and water. Uh, it works pretty good. So, okay. So that's how we have the feet. And, uh... You know, we're, we've got it pretty well taken care of. I just have to touch it up a little bit here and there. And that's what we do as carvers. We keep trimming things away a little bit, you know, and keep working on it. Now, I clean this off up here. We're just going to clean all this off so it's nice and smooth. All right, and then we'll start putting his shirt in. But before we do that, we need to finish up back here. Okay, um, I actually scooped part of this underneath here okay and some of this over here I did so it has a little bit of a shape to it and then up here we want to uh, take the knife and go across just like so and push it down in put a stop cut to continue on with his shirt I almost thought I nuked myself there okay well anyway uh, you just want to cut little pieces out, just like so. All right, and that's kind of wide there, so we're just going to push that back in. And we're going to trim that off. Yeah. We're going to trim all this off, and we're going to take that across, okay? We're going to make that more distinct, so we're just going to do a little V-cut like so. And we're just going to trim off the back here. Okay. This is a very simple um, caricature. You know, there's a lot of people can do a lot better than this, of course, but. For the beginner, this is a good little project to try if you're just starting to do these and enjoy doing people and caricatures. I know Gene Messer, he uh, he does a, quite a few of them, uh, and he does a flat plane type carving. Um, I had the opportunity to actually, actually speak with him on the phone the other day. It was a pleasure to talk with him. It really was. He was very kind and complimentary and... Uh, uh, he was very, uh, very encouraging. And if you don't haven't seen Gene's work, if you've been following me for a while and you don't know Gene, go to his uh, website. It's Whittler0507. And I have a connection on my blog. Um, if you're not sure about it, uh, you can always email me. I'll direct you to his, his YouTube site and his, uh, his blog. He has a blog as well. And... Um, 
you know, we, we chatted for a while. It was very nice to talk to him in person. We did a lot through email, but it was uh, it was a pleasure to talk to him on the phone. And um, you'll find Gene one of the most encouraging people when it comes to uh, learning how to carve and for beginners. So be sure to check his website out and his his YouTube site as well. Okay, folks, here we go. Um, here's where the hand's going into the pocket. We're going to do that right here. We're going to just go down like so. Let me bring that up a little bit so you can see it. And we're going to go from this direction where it's tucked underneath. And that's all that's to that, okay? That's all that's to that. You want to go a little further than the pocket just to show that it's it's a pocket there, you know, and uh, that work out real good, right? Real well there. Okay, so all right, folks, uh, we've gotten pretty well everything done. Now we're going to start putting the shirt in and the suspenders, and we're going to round off his hat. We're going to keep working on the body for now. I keep going all over the place here because I'm. Kind of anxious to see how he'll look after he's done being painted, but so far I've been pretty pleased with him. And he's our little Amish guy. And somebody said about um, maybe having a barnyard full of animals, and and I'm thinking what I can do along with the pig that would be simple to do. So uh, maybe we'll have just a setting with him and the pig and a few other animals. Um, that might be a nice little little setting to put him in. Okay, folks. So we'll be back. <laughs>